Hello everyone and welcome back. Today is the anniversary event so we are going to be doing some very cool little things today. So first of all let's go into our exchange. If we scroll down here we can see there's new skins so let's just pick them up. Yes we shall take the Emperor Koji and we'll take Suiko as well. Reverse Suiko. And we'll also take Rekka. And there we go, we've used up some of our medals. So we have 202 packs here. And what we really want is to build Chaos Breaker and to build Tetra Drive. So if we can get the two of those, that'll be very cool. I wouldn't mind building Black Lugger as well, that could also be very nice. And obviously there's the Reverse Dayusha which would also be pretty cool. So, for each one that we get, we also get these Anniversary Medals, and we will look at them. So the Anniversary Medals are here. You can exchange 15 for any Double Rare, including all the ones from the new set, but includes every Double Rare from the entire game. So if there's any Double Rares that you're missing from any of your previous decks, you can get them that way. And you can exchange 50 for any triple rare, including brand new ones, like good old Chaos Breaker. Who is the one that I'm really after? It's not because Chaos Breaker is insanely good, he's actually been nerfed. You have to count plus one, discard two cards in order to um, lock a card, then you have to count blast again in order to re retire the card that unlocks to draw one. So he's been nerfed quite a bit, not quite as good as he used to be, but it is current blast one in discard two to choose any unit to lock, which includes the opponent's front row, which can take an opponent's attack away from them. So discarding two isn't too terrible. But we've rambled on enough. Let us continue and jump right in with ten packs. And let us see what delicious, delicious goodness we get. We'll let the animation go the first couple of times. Oh, a guaranteed triple rare immediately off the bat. But as we're doing 200 of these packs, uh, we may start skipping the animations a bit later. Ooh, there's a Black Lure, I believe. And that's Die Tiger. Neat. Ooh, Wheel Assault. Is that an SP Wheel Assault? Oh, that's very nice. Ooh, that's an SP Galaxy. Oh, those are two SPs in the same pack. I'm so thankful I got that on camera because no one would ever have believed me. Wonderful. Okay, let's see what else we can pull. Nothing there. Ooh, the guaranteed lightning bolt. Let's see where our glorious card is. Ooh, it's a title assault, I believe. He's very nice. Um, after he attacks, free stamina and he gets minus five. So, very cool for old Milstrom decks that require four attacks. Nothing in that one either. Ooh, that's an SP Die Brave. Wow, and there's a, a um, Black Lugger Perfect Guard as well. These are some really good pulls for the first 10 packs. Ooh, that's the Break Ride. That's the, what was it, Vowing? No, Zero. Zero Saber. We'll find out in just a second. What's your name? Original Saber Zero. That was it. My goodness, so there is our Galaxy Black Luger and all of his glorious SP goodness, which is very nice. We have our Tidal Assault. Uh, that is the um, Blau Dunkle Height. So uh, apologies if I messed that up. 
Uh, ah, Merkur or Black Luger. I believe these are all German. I think that's what they are. And there's our very lovely Die Shield. It's not Die Brave, Die Shield, obviously. Die Brave is a different card. But yes, there he is, and all of his SP glory. It's quite nice. I like what's going on over here. Where he's protecting the, the city. And obviously our SP Wheel Assault. It's very nice, actually. I like how it's, it's more of a subtle SP. Like, you wouldn't really see it, but like, it's just enough that you can be like, hey, something's going on with that. There's a glowiness going on with his weapons. And yeah, Wheel Assault is amazing. He's an amazing, amazing card. Ooh. He's a roof. He's alright. He's not terrible. He's alright. And obviously there are 10k Jupiter Block Wuggers. Very nice. Your Block Wugger as well? Yeah, Pluto Block Wugger. Hmm. Yeah, I think we can make a pretty cool little Black Wugger deck out of this. So let's try again. So once we go back, there we are. You received 10 anniversary medals into our gift box. So let's just keep going. So by the end of this I'll have 200 anniversary coins, which will allow me to pull any 4 triple rares that I want, or a number of double rares. Wait, are you serious? Like, there isn't even a guaranteed double rare? Like, it's all just rares? I mean, I know we had really good pulls the last time, but that doesn't mean you have to do this crap this time. Okay, I think that's the 9k that goes to 12k for Black Wizards. Just doing these quickly now. Because we really need to speed this up. Oh, the guaranteed. Oh, that's nice. I would not mind if that's Chaos Breaker. Oh, just as good. Uh, what's your name? Pal Palladium? I think it's Palladium. It's uh, when a unit unlocks. And the second one? And there are two of them? Holy crap! Oh, another title as well. And is that Ramiel Reverse? Man, that was, that was some kind of luck. But yeah, uh, when a unit unlocks, can't last one, put this in soul to relock that unit. That's what Palladium does. Which is a Glendios support card, I believe. I don't know if it came out before Glendios. Ooh! A wheel assault and... Are you die brave? I might be die brave. Ooh! Um, that's the Star Vader Grade 3. I think it's on place, can blast 2 to lock an opponent's unit. But only when it's placed on Vanguard. And I think that's... Is that the Black Wigger that's um, 9k that becomes 12k if you're Vanguard's Black Wigger? Or is that the one that says when your Black Wigger Vanguard attacks her last one to stand this and give it plus 3? can never remember. All these mechs look the same. Ah, well, yeah, that might be the one I'm thinking of. Well, you know what, let's just read through them just now. So, yes, that's Ramiel Reverse. And there's Palladium. It's very nice, same effect. Very good. Our second title assault. Mars Blackler. Okay, that's the one that restands. And you are the 12k. Right. Gross beer. You don't have the word blower in your name. Hmm. Are you supposed to? No, they're not. Uh, Mercury Blackler. This is Die Brave. That's Die Brave. And Multiverse Dragon. And I know this is new Wheel Assault, but that's all because it's our first non SP Wheel Assault. We actually do have two Wheel Assaults. So that's also. I mean, considering that that started is pretending to just give me rares, gave me an awful lot there in terms of foils. That was really good. So let's just keep going. Put in another 10. A 
Okay, guaranteed double rare at least. And there he is, Wheel Assault. So that's three Wheel Assaults we've got now. Which is nice. Ah, uh, there's the Trilkey, the Gross Bear. Gross. Oh, the Guaranteed Lightning Bolt. Oh, I love these Guaranteed Lightning Bolts. And we've got a double rare as well. You're Aqua Force, aren't you? What's this? Woo! That is an SP Die Brave. That's pretty. Oh, we've got two of that. Um, wait, are you Aqua Force or are you secretly Black Wither? No, I'm not so sure. Another Die Brave. Very nice. Just tapping away now. Tap, tap, tap. Wow. <laughs> Is that the playset of Die Braves already? From 30 packs. That's pretty nuts. Yeah, we just got three Die Braves. Yep, four of them. Fantastic. Ah, uh, Die Kaiser. What did I say? Die Brave? <laughs> I meant to say Die Kaiser. My goodness. Um, interestingly, I have a signed version of this card from the artist that drew it. Uh, shout out to Freedom Duo. Who managed to get that for me a long time ago. So yes, very nice to see. That is the third gross bear. We now have two cobalt wave dragons. Ah, it's cobalt wave. Um, let's see. When you rear guard, tax vanguard, if it's third or more, if it's the third battle of that turn or more, this unit gets plus tw two thousand plus one crit. Hmm. I suppose if we've got two tidal assaults, then he gets plus two crit. So he goes to three crit in 1400 attack. When this unit attacks, Vanguard, if it's the fourth more battle, he gets plus five. So it goes to 19 with four crit, with three crit even. Can you do any more than three crit? Maybe with a wheel assault. Actually, if you've got three tidal assaults, and one wheel assault. You could go two, four, six. Can you do any more than six? Or six the maximum you could do? Not unless you wheel assault the tidal assault from behind the vanguard, then you could maybe do eight. No, you can't. You can only do six. It's not possible to do eight. But if you get off six attacks, then yeah, that's going to be pretty cool. That would have a huge amount of crits. Mm, it would be five crit. Yep, yeah, five crit. I mean, all your attacks would be crap. They'd be garbage. You know, you wouldn't do anything with them. But yeah, five crit. And there is our second and third wheel assaults. So let's continue. We still need three more Palladium, four more Chaos Breakers, four Tetra Drive Dragons, and a whole bunch of Black Wiggers and Dimensional Robots. Ah, the Guaranteed Triple Rail. I always like to see that. Uh, that's an Angel Feather unit. Can't remember what she does. I think she exchanges card and damage with card and hand. But she's different from No CL for some reason. I don't remember exactly. Ooh, there's our second Palladium. Ooh, and the Zero. Saver? Original Saver Zero. Like, I just read its card name like five minutes ago and I've already forgotten. So 
so trying to get me to remember things from years beforehand. Uh, you're asking quite a lot. Just giving it a little bit of time in case any lightning bolts were to come down. Oh, that's our first mega um, colony maker. I almost said mega colony maker. And it's like, oh no, that's 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 an entirely different thing. Oh, another die brave. Is that five die braves? Uh, then another die shield. Yes, that is five die graves. Um, so yes, this is our first colony maker. Playing point's got a locked card. Can't lost one. Call a grade one or less star from your deck. Which is very nice to do. And we've got two of this now. Don't know if they'll ever be used. Um, ah, right, it's Celestial. That's the difference in it. It's got the word Celestial in its name, and it works for Celestial units. It's similar to Silverthorns, because there's a purple pieces for Silverthorn um, that has the word Silverthorn in its name, and it just gets used infinitely more than purple pieces ever does nowadays. Um, so, yes, and also this is the first regular die shield we've got rather than the SP. So, we shall continue. And this is us 50 packs in now. I wouldn't mind an SP Chaos Breaker. That's not an SP Chaos Breaker. Sometimes if you ask for it, the game will just give you it. Oh, that's nice. She's the Celestial that um, exchanges from Damage Zone. Ah, the Lightning Bolt. Oh, yes. Whoa, we've got two of her now. Oh, we'll be building Angel Feather after this. Great, a sick die brave. Okay, you can stop giving me die braves now. We don't need any more die braves. Ooh, second call to make her. That's good. You would like a place out of that. There's a what is it, Saturn? Mars, Mars Black Lunar. That's Saturn. And that one wasn't as great. We've got a second colony maker, a second Mars Black Lunar, and we've got two of Danielle. Well this is different. When another card's put into your damage zone during your turn, can I two to call this card? Put the top card of your deck into your damage zone. If you call the face down card, turn the card you put into your damage face down. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, that's technically good. Because it is, it's free, it's plus one. I mean, it's not free, it's card blast two. But you don't discard anything to gain that advantage. Yeah, that's, that's quite good, actually. Twenty minutes in, we are sixty packs down. So let's go! Guaranteed triple rare. Very shiny triple rare. I would like to see an SP Chaos Breaker. That would be very nice if you'd give it to me. Yeah, that's the Coral Wave. Something like that. Cobalt Wave. 
Ooh, another title assault. That's good. Is that our playset? Yeah, that might be title assault number four. One SP and three regulars. Ooh, another Ramiel Reverse. That's nice, gives us two Ramiel Reverses. Not so much that time either. We've got second army of first. We now have a playset of Cobalt Wave Dragons. I forgot to build that. And yes, we've got three regular wheel assaults and one at SP. Let us continue. I better check, there's not a limit to how many you can have in your, your gift box, is there? In case the limit is like 50 or something. Better go and accept these. Ah, special message from Aichi. Um, yeah, let's work together to defeat Line Joker. Because I'm totally not building Chaos Breaker right now. There we are, there's 60 medals. Very nice. And what are these? Oh, they're achievements. Oh, yes, right, okay. Collect Link Joker, collect Dimension Police, collect Angel Feathers. Yes, okay, we shall accept all of those. Neat. And let's go back in. I'll come to you later. Because I kind of want those skins. I don't mind not having the sleeves or the icons. But I want the skins. I'm just not willing to pay 10,000 gems to do it. So I'm hoping there's other things that come out later on. So we shall open more packs. Guaranteed triple drill. This is very nice to see. Oh, there's a third Ramiel Reverse. So these little guys are based on Kaijus. You know, like uh, Godzilla. And etc. Godzilla, uh, Ghidorah, Destroyer, Mechagodzilla, Mothra. I don't know if there's a Mothra actually. But I'm pretty sure the others are all in there. Like, this guy here, I think that's just meant to be Ghidorah. Three headed dragon. See, that is Blair's ultimate dragon. Oh, there's our second galaxy block there. That's nice to see. Uh, the third Dire Shield. Only two triples and one double that time. The first few we were getting, we were getting incredible amounts of double rares and triple rares. So it was insane luck. Let's see if we can get that again. Let's just pull four Chaos Breakers from these ten packs. That would be hilarious. I wonder if anyone's ever done that before. And if not, why not? Let's do it right now. Four Chaos Breakers, let's go! Okay, anytime you want to start with Chaos Breakers, that'd be good. No, seriously, I mean Chaos Breaker. Well, that's the seventh Die Brave. We didn't need that. Oh my goodness.
That die brave better not be the only thing we're getting. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow, that is, uh, that's pretty horrible. <laughs> so the only two cards we got was a foil, two foil commons. Well, that's, that's the worst grade one. Yep, no, that's, that's pretty terrible as well. Man, what a waste. Jeez. Okay. Right, let, let's, let's just try and get some stuff again now. No more of this asking for four Chaos Breakers. That was a terrible idea. And this is going horribly. Oh, well, there's the gross bear. Although I think we've got four of that already. Oh, the final! Thank goodness. And give me a chaos breaker. Well, that's fine. I'll take that instead. The doorbell, but uh, someone else will get that. There's the fifth wheel of salt. In case we've got a second die geyser. We got our fifth wheel of salt. And oh no, this is our fourth gross bear. Okay. So that was the place it. Okay, 112 packs left to go. That means we are what, 90 packs in? We haven't seen a chaos breaker yet? That's pretty good. That means we should surely pull four right here. Oh, there's number one. There's an SP, um, what is it, Coral? There's a triple rare title assault. What is this pack? No! The second half wasn't as good, but that first half, wow. <laughs> well, there's Chaos Breaker number one. Okay, here's Chaos Breaker number two, right there. I meant here. Here? These ones? Okay. At least we've got one Chaos Breaker. Well, that first pack was amazing. <laughs> SP Triple Rare. Oh! This is the Star Vader that's uh, 9k that comes 12k. I forgot about him. I think that might be the first one of him we've got. There's a third Palladium. Thank goodness, the more uh, Link Joker triple rares we get, the less I need to try and create. Now there's our sixth wheel assault. Which we didn't need that one. Oh, and an SP of the Black Wigger Perfect Guard. Oh! I'm not even sure what you are. You're not tail assault. I'll look at that in a minute. I'm wondering if he's the grade two wheel salt. Okay. Oh, he's the unflapper. Yep, so there he is in all of his SP glory when he hits the vanguard on flip of damage. And that is the sixth one of that. Here's our first SP of the Cobalt Wave Dragon. Oh, he looks pretty cool in SP actually. It's like he's, um. It's like flying through space or something almost. 
Yes, here's the first raid on. That's right, that was his name. With his nice big sniper rifle. And there is our SP Blau. What was it? Dunkel Height? I hope that's right. The first SP of that. Our very first Blue Wave Dragon Tetra Drive. Blue Wave Dragon Tetra Drive Dragon. That's a weird name. He's very nice. And we've got three Palladiums now. I like the full artwork of Palladium. That's very cool looking. And of course, here is our very first Chaos Breaker Dragon. Also known as the Counter Blast Dragon in this version of the game. Yeah, that was a very nice 10 packs. Okay, we have 100 packs left to go. We're at the halfway point now. I'll try and go through this a little bit faster. I should try to speed it up for you. Well, I think that's guaranteed triple rare. Put the purple lightning on it. Uh, there's the celestial version of No Seal. Ooh, a second Tetra Drive Dragon. That's very good. We want four of him. Another Mars Black Lizard. I've forgotten how many Mars Black Lizards we've got. Oh, it's a lightning bolt. And we'll do him last then. Oh, and a perfect guard as well. Ah, it's Die Kaiser Reverse. Or is it Die Usher Reverse? Dayusha Reverse. Die Kaiser is the break rate. It's Dayusha Reverse. And here he is. There is Dayusha Reverse himself. With his big evil grin. Now our second touch drive. Two of Nareo. Only three Mars Black Lord. We need one more of him. And we've got three of this because one of it is an SP. Ninety packs left to go. We shall keep going. We shall certainly try to build Chaos Breaker by the end of today. Ooh, two die shields. Three die shields. We don't really need die shields. Uh, let's see, another black wear. Great three. Great. What is that? Our sixth, seventh wheel assault. Lost track. Nothing there. Nor there. And that's another grade three. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, there's a dog that has just came in to visit me. <laughs> Hello there. Wait, what's her name again? Mira. Mira. Hello. <laughs> Mira, do you speak? Is that where you're taking her? Yeah. You're taking her to get her nails cut? Yeah. And it's other the walk, so I can see. All right. So we shouldn't get that long. The head's weird. No, okay. That's okay. a little thing. Right. See you in the back. Yes, I'll see you later. Okay. Um, apologies for that. Just a little a break in the recording. Um, I may not even pause it, I might just keep all that in. Dog came in to visit me. That was unusual. 
And I can't remember how many Nariel we've got now. Three. <clears throat> uh, yes, that is our seventh wheel assault. We have at least five of this. I think we've got one of it in SP as well. Um, so, yes, they're just getting converted. And we've got three of Multiverse Dragon as well. So, very nice. So, 80 packs left to go. And let us try and do this without any more interruption by dog. <coughs> hmm, my voice is starting to go. Guaranteed double room. Holy crap! Well, there's Chaos Breaker number two. That was a very nice opening pack. That is Gross Bear. I think that's the fifth one. Uh, another original Zero. Original Saber Zero. That's right. Ah, uh, the Lightning Bolt. Then we shall do that one last. Ah, second Daisha Reverse. Good to see. There's nothing there. Yeah, so this was the fifth one of that. We have two of you now, and two Chaos Breakers, and three original Saber Zeros. Okay. <coughs> I would very much not mind the SP Chaos Breaker. So what, we're going to accept those tokens, first of all. Well, I mean, that's completely fine, but the only way to get the medal so far is paying a thousand gems to get ten, and you need a hundred for skins, so really you need two hundred. So it's asking for twenty thousand gems, and I'm just not prepared to pay that. So I'm hoping that there's better ways to get them soon. So there's another seventy. So, 70 left to go. Nothing there. Ah, another colony maker. That is something we need. Oh, I think that was our fourth Nareem? Nario? I think Nareem is you, you heard. Or maybe you body fight, actually. Oh, another calling maker. Okay, we've got some colony makers. Is that the playset? Yep, good. Playset of them. And playset of the Denario Elves. So no triple rares there, but we did finish off some playsets. And that's always a good thing. A 
Oh, good. The guaranteed trouble there. And there's an SP Reverse Dayusha, which will go very nice with the SP Dykeyser that we pulled earlier. That is very, very cool. Not much to talk about when there's no foils getting pulled, so... Hmm. Has everyone seen Godzilla vs. Kong? What did you think? I quite liked it. I thought for a giant electric wizard going up against a big monk, it was pretty good. Is that a second SP of him? Wow. Oh, a statue drive! Yes, we do need more touch drives. I think we've got two of this guy in SP and none of them is regular. That's pretty crazy. And there's the SP of the reverse Ayusha. Now that's a very, very cool thing to see. So it's kind of like the lightning that's around them, it's all fixed up. And also like the black tartness coming out from underneath him. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And that is our third Tetra Drive. And this is our third uh, Reverse Dayusha as well, I believe. One SP and two normal ones. So, 50 packs left to go. Let's go. Let's do this. Guaranteed double rare, but nothing beyond that is guaranteed. Oh, but Flame Bolt will, will guarantee something for us. Yeah, okay. It's uh, her. I guess that's good for Angel Flower. Quite necessary. You're going to build Celestials. That's the 8th Wheel of Salt or something like that. Could be the 18th. Feels like the 18th one. Like when you start seeing double rares that you don't need. I pull three of them. In the same pack. And there's a fifth Navio, which we also didn't need, but we do now have three of Daniel, so that's nice. Forty packs, let's go. Is that the ninth title assault? Jeez. I think that's the playset of this guy as well. There's our tenth title assault. Ten of them. Well, that's the fourth Daniel. That's four, right? Yeah. And that's the place. So 
with 32 packs left to open. I think we still need one more Palladium, two more Chaos Breakers, one more Tetra Drive, one more Dyusha Reverse, two more Dykeyser. And I'm not exactly sure what else. I lost track of the other ones. I lost track of the Black Wizards, I lost track of the uh, Ramiel Reverses. Well, I'm pretty sure we don't need you anymore. We've even got some of it in XP, I believe. Do we have two Coral Salt in XP? Oh, there's an SP Colony Maker. That's pretty cool. Now, if you give me an SP Chaos Breaker to go with it, that would be very nice. And there is the lovely SP Colony Maker. Yeah, yeah, but far too many of you. What are you called? Cobalt Wave Dragon. I think Coral Assault is uh, a different card. I think that's grade 1 actually. 22 packs left. Almost there. If you've stayed with us all this time, congratulations. No. No guaranteed anythings. Dear Diary, pack 8 of 10, still haven't pulled anything upon rare. Pack 9 of 10. Are we going to go 10 packs without pulling a double? Wow. 10 packs of only commons and rares. That's hideous. Well, we've got one of this guy. We've got four of them in foil. Great. Okay, 12 packs left. I might save the last two packs. Don't know what for, but... This will give us 200 anniversary coins. Oh, and we get the guaranteed triple rest. That should be good. Well, we got a sixth one of you. Cobalt Wave Dragon. And there's another one of that grade 3 Black Wizard. There's, what is that, seventh, eighth Die Brave? It's been a while since we've seen him. Is that a place of Mars Black Wizard? I think we've definitely got the place out of gross there already. I think that's the very first break ride we've seen for Black <laughs> Oh wow. Two packs left to give me a SP Chaos Breaker Dragon. If you could, that would be very, very nice. Oh yeah, we need more radar. Okay, this is the last pack I'm going to open today. 
Give me SP Chaos Breaker Dragon Please No Okay well we did get one mon black wigger which I had forgotten was something that we actually needed for the deck. And that is the fourth Mars Black Wigger. <coughs> My voice is going now. We've got four Mercury Black Wigger. We've only got two Radon. Hmm. I'm going to need a couple more of him. I'm going to just craft them. Um, yep, we've got way too many Gross Bears. We had way too many Die Braves. And we have far too many Cobalt Wave Dragons. Yes, the angel for the event. Okay, so let us claim these anniversary medals. So we have 200 of them now. And let us try and build a quick deck. We'll build Chaos Breaker first, which I think is going to look something like that. One, two, three, and four. Need a fourth one of it. And um, what else do we want to put into here? Four perfect guards. That'd be good. Claw is alright. Is that mean better than Claw? No, that's not good. I think claw might be the best thing we've got. No. Wait, what was that? No, that's that's terrible. No, definitely not. You're alright actually. It's not preferred. Hmm. Yeah, clock kind of is the next best thing we've got, isn't it? Do we have anything better than that? This great one? Hmm. We also need things that have the word Starvator in the name. So you also have to be careful of that. Especially when you've got to discard two for... Um, Chaos Breaker now. So we still need one card. Okay, what do you think have the word Star Reader in your name? You do. You know what, that's actually not a bad idea. Claw isn't quite as good. This is better. Because at least in the front row it can take care of uh, 10k rear guards. You know what? I'm going to put Claw down to one. I like consistency. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Uh, Colony Maker. Yeah, that's absolutely required. Um, we're probably going to need four of you. Ten key vanilla is an option. You're not a terrible idea. What do you do again? Can't last two to draw a card and you don't have a uh, star video in your name? No, that isn't happening. I hate this thing. I think it's. I don't think it's good. It's the fact that it only works on Vanguard Circle. And yet everyone seems to love it. Everyone apart from me. I mean, I understand why it's technically good. But it means your opponent has to be stupid and call something early to the rearguard circle. And it has to be something that's not a grade 2 because otherwise you kind of hit the opponent's vanguard. Hmm. 
It's, it's not good. It's only good if your opponent's stupid enough to call a grade one to front row rear guard while you're playing like Joker. And if they're doing that, then you win anyway. Because, I mean, if they're stupid enough to do that. Now these things, now that's an option. That's a serious option. Yeah, I think so actually. I think four of. And what's better, claw or vanilla? Vanilla. I'd rather have 10k all the time. What? No, no worries. There we go. I'd rather have 10k all the time than a 9k that goes to 12k when I lock. I mean, what I'd really like is just a, a guy that's 12k all the time, which is this guy, which is just, if you're Vanguard Star Vader, which it always will be. There's never a point that it won't be Star Vader. I'm actually going to wonder if this is necessary for. I think it's Counter Blast. It calls a grade 1, what grade 1 do I really want to call out of these? Not many. Like maybe a Palladium, but hmm. There's nothing that flips damage in Chaos Breaker, is there? Not yet. That's disappointing. It'd be really nice if they had a damage on Flipper, but then that might be a bit too good. So, yeah, that's a problem. I hate that this is 8k. See, if this was 9k, it would be amazing, but it's already amazing at 8k. I mean, the two options I'm going between are put this to 4 and put this to 1, or the other way around, because I really like having the 12k's. I think these are technically good. I like the ability to just be able to cartoon blast 1 to get advantage, even if I don't use it. Hmm. And of course we are going to need 4 Chaos Breaker Dragons. That is unquestionable. Uh, you guys are Star Vader, right? Yeah. Okay, good. One, two, three, four. You're Star Vader? Yep, cool. One, two, three, four. And we need one more Star Vader. Which might be you. I don't think you're fantastic, but I don't think I've got much more of an option. No, that's terrible. No, no. Yes, yes. This is not Star Vader. No, 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 no. Schrodinger's line. It's not Star Vader. Nope, 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 nope. And then it's into those. Okay, I don't have any other option then. So it's going to have to be you then. I mean, I do have the other option. The other option is this, but um, I'm a hell playing Caramelast 1 to get plus 3. And also it's 10k instead of 11k. So, uh, no. And what we're going to make everything? Well, you guys are going to be the heal triggers. Hold up, do I only have three of you? I've got four. Damn. Need to get more of you as well. And everything else is going to be draw triggers. Because you need cards in hand, because you have to discard two now. And I think that's going to be Link Joker for us. That looks good to me. Yep. It's not the best grade zero, but I think it's the best one we've got. Why would you want to return this to hand? So that you can discard it for Chaos Breaker? That's a terrible idea. And this is the other option. But I hate this Caron Blast. Uh, no, absolutely not. Definitely not either. Hmm. So really, it's the option of this. Caron Blast 1, look at the top 5, figure 3. Or this, uh, which is kind of last one to lock an opponent's back row. But I hate that there's so much counterblast and there's nothing that unflips. 
So we will, well, let's name this. There, that's the name of the deck. Carablash Dragon. Yeah, that's fine. Believe me, I'm not going to play the deck unless I have everything for it, so you don't need to worry there. We have six customization things. So, I mean, we can use her now. Um, yeah, we have a bunch of reverse sleeves, I'm sure. That's weird that these two are the wrong way around. Like normally the reverse comes directly after the, the character image. But they put the event card in between there. That's interesting. Well the six so there's one there. Two. Three. There's one other ones. The four. The um the love life thing. Hmm. Oh yes, of course. I got to rank ten and um, never bothered looking at this. So yep, there's Schwarzschild. Did I miss one? Hmm. It definitely said six new things. I guess it doesn't matter. Um, let us use for Chaos Breaker. we we'll just use these sleeves. Yeah, that looks okay. Oh, well, uh, we'll make you Kai since you're Chaos Breaker. And let's see exactly what it is we need. <clears throat> A decent amount. Four triple rares and two double rares. Hmm. Right, well we can craft some of that. So that's no problem. And you, which is this thing, Schwarzschild. I think we're just going to make you... Yeah, I do only have three, um, three Nebula Lord. Yeah, we're going to customize you into Suiko. And I'll give you Suiko sleeves. There you go, you enjoy that. So now it's easy to differentiate between the two. Hmm. Do I have pair of sleeves for this? Tell me that there's no Link Joker Kai sleeves? That seems crazy. Not unless I haven't linked um, I haven't got Link Joker up to level five yet. Which in fairness is a distinct possibility because I haven't really been playing Squatch Child. So yes, okay. Um we're on forty out of fifty decks. Man. I'm gonna have to start deleting stuff soon. Um, we shall create original once again, and we are going to make title assault. So uh, let's start with create threes first. So one, two, three, four of you. Um, four of the break red. I feel like you're not good enough. Maelstrom. 
Milksham is still very, very strong. And got one more space. Original Milstrom? Wait, this is once per turn? Wow, okay, it's really bad then. Like, even when it wasn't once per turn, it wasn't great, but now that it's once per turn, oh, that's uh, not good. Yeah, let's do that. And we'll make you guys the heal trigger. Everything else is draw. Okay, so we only need one to drive so far. That's a good sign. Oh, we do need uh, four of you. Well, this is once per turn. Ah. Is it once per turn each or is it once per turn total? Because there's a difference. Yeah, this is probably something I'm one out of four. Um, do I want diamond and flippers? I don't know if I do. These guys are so good. These guys are so good, actually. And so are you guys. Hmm. Okay, I'll decide what to take out in just a second. No, it's not good enough. Great ones, four of you, because you are really, really good. Four power guards. That's a no-brainer. I still like these guys. But does anything else help more? Penguin's still good. Where's my diamond you should our guy? Is it you? Yeah. Okay, so... I think four damage enabler grade one is better. No, it's not good enough. These things are good to an extent, but not enough. I really like these guys too. It just sucks. And they are at only 8k. Yeah, okay, that looks good. Uh, grid zero. Um, what is good? I think it's you. Because I think you with touch drive means that I draw a lot of cards. Do I? No, oh, maybe that's not good enough. Yeah, definitely not. No. 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 Well, this is the same thing, but it's only when it hits. That's the other option. 
Wait, what? No. Not that. That. I think I prefer this. I think I prefer looking at the top five for getting a guaranteed grade three. Getting into a nice tetra drive. That sounds good to me. Tetra Force. As opposed to Aqua Force, which is a different deck. Yep, totally fine. Okay, how much do I need to craft to finish that off? No, not you. Yeah. Customize. What lovely sleeves do I have? What's so nice event sleeves? Drive sleeves? Surely not. So chaos breaker sleeves. Also surely not. Well, there isn't really much I can force, is there? And uh, seemingly no chaos breaker. Oh. No, the here's chaos breaker here. I mean, no chaos breaker, but. Um, they do have Link Joker. Hmm, what's their Leon sleeves look like? Oh, there we go. Not much. Huh. Yeah, we'll use these Vine sleeves. Okay, that looks good enough, I suppose. Um, what I need to build you. Only three truck warriors. That's so bad. Unless I've built this deck horribly wrongly, but um, I feel that looks right. You know, I might swap you out for a damage enabler. No, I can't. We've already got our main sets of uh, damage enablers. That's a lot of damage enablers, but the thing is, this will still just win a game sometimes. You just put yourself in five damage and just attack. And you can do it like when you're on like three. <laughs> just go like uh, damage, damage, damage. Oh, interest. What was my last Aqua Force deck? Just so I can compare it. Ah, right, okay, it was these guys. Yeah, I mean, technically he's still a good card. Yeah, you can see I'm still playing the 8 damage enablers there. And there's this hilarious one underneath, it's called Sheer Salt Attack. It's pretty much the same deck, apart from everything is criticals. And the whole idea is you just put yourself in 5 damage, attack with this, and then hope to hit like 2 crit. And hopefully the opponent doesn't perfect guard it. That's what Sheer Salt Attack is. Um, don't run that, you'll only upset people. What was the other ones they called? Um, Nova Grappler, which was the Black Luger thing, but I don't think we've got enough stuff for Black Luger. I don't think I've even got enough stuff for Ramiel. I may have enough stuff for Ramiel. Let's take a look at Ramiel. Um, wait, I don't have any of this? Did I just not open the set? That's a possibility. Yeah, I'm missing all of this like the celestial stuff. Yeah, I don't think it's possible to build celestials without the previous set stuff. Yeah, I've got all these parts, but all the stuff that I really need. No, okay. I'll believe Angel Feather. Uh, what other ones were there? Um, Dayusha. Let's look at Dayusha. 
Okay, go fast. There he is. Right, do you should reverse. Um, oh, well, that's quite a lot we're missing already. Hmm. What else do we run? Maybe? Do you cross right over? Thank you, sure. Well, we've got two dishes. Well, three dishes actually. One, two, three. Is that actually still good? It might be good. It may be better now than what it used to be. Or oh, you're getting good. Yeah, that seems good. It doesn't do anything, but it seems good. Yeah, I think this is um, Zeal Brick Raid. Different thing. Mm. Okay, let's see. What do you guys do? No. No, I don't think that's good enough. That's definitely not good enough. Yeah, well that's a four off. Probably. Is it you were running? I feel like that's the cover we're running. I feel like doing this over a break rate's a kind of cool idea. Um. Oh, we're in grade two. It's not very far. That sounds alright, actually. I mean, for no other reason than this just activates Dayusha. I hate this is a Vanguard only fit. But it does raid from deck, and raiding from deck is really, really strong.
Yeah, Raiden from deck is really, really strong. Fine. I don't like it though. Which means that this needs to come down. Because I kind of need you to do your thing. Okay, grade one, uh, four die brave. Unquestionably, because that is what you want to write. For perfect guard, very obviously. Maybe. Hmm, awful lot of carb blasts. Your carb blasts real, aren't you? Yeah. It needs to be plus four, so plus threes don't do enough. So it's gonna have to be you guys. Because everything needs to be increase your vanguard side by plus four. And one more, one more. No. Maybe. I thought you weren't supposed to be able to use these and these at the same time. I'm guessing if you tried to save it with both of them, then it would let you know. Which is weird that it allows you to do that. I don't think Laurel's good enough in Vanguard Zero. If I'm honest. Like, he's amazing in the actual game, but in Vanguard Zero, not so much. Because there isn't anything that takes care of the opponent's rear guards. So you just have to rely on the opponent not having rear guards in order for you to do that. Which is a terrible idea. And also, if you're using this guy, you have to lock two. So, how are you going to rest four? Doesn't make sense. Um, what's the eagle trigger? The usual movie? Pretty great. The usual is probably the healer, isn't it? That makes sense. Okay, that makes sense to me. I couldn't think of a funny name for that one, so that's good enough. Yep, totally fine. And that one's number 50. Customize. <laughs> Man, it has been a long time since I've made any decks, apparently. And character. This is a new phone, so... It means the last time that I edited um, Dimension Police was before that event. Well, no, after that event, but before I got my new phone. So I've never touched them since, because otherwise they wouldn't have said that that was new. And yeah, okay, I think that looks good. So. We need one, two, three, four, four triple rares, two double rares there. 
three triple rares there. And one, two, three, four. Yeah. Four triple rares. Okay, so the next thing to do is see what I can actually craft. Because I'm pretty sure I can craft all these guys. Yeah. And one touch drive. And there we go. Tetra Force is complete. Counter Blast Dragon. How many can I craft? Two. Okay, so we'll craft those. I can craft one of these. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Is this a bad idea? No, I'll craft this. Okay, so I need one Radon and one Palladium from the Anniversary set. And Reverse Diosha. Let's see how much we can actually craft here. Now, I don't really grind this, so I can make two. Let's do the two big, right? I think that makes sense. Yeah. In fact, um, that day you should reverse we can get from the event, the reverse event. So I don't need to waste a ticket on this because I can just get it through beating up Kai. Yeah, I do need one of you though. Not unless there's something better than between four of you, there might be, and then we cut that down to three and play something else. Might just play a second one of this, but then what do I make the heal trigger? Hmm, that's the issue. Yeah, no, maybe actually, because you can write a issue from deck, right? So what if I take you out? Add a second one of you in. And we make the break read the yield trigger. That sounds crazy. Because this thing's still good, right? And then all we need is just one of you. Then if I'm playing the deck and it turns out I do need four Daisha, then I'll just go and make another Daisha. But yeah, okay, that looks good at the moment. 
So we need one Palladium and one Radium. Oh, and one Nebula Lord. I don't really want the Nebula Lord. I don't think Nebula Lord is that fantastic, but he is absolutely essential. So let's go and get those. Yep, crafted a card. And see, it's from getting this metal here, I'll be able to go in here, and I can just get this Digger Shirt Reverse here. Which saves me having to do any of that other um, nonsense. So we want to go into the triple rear, and we want one palladium. Yes. There we go. There's a fourth palladium. And um, we also want radium, which is double. And Nebula Lord. So I think Nebula Lord will be near the bottom. Somewhere. I thought Link to Wear stuff would be a lower down, but um yeah, there we go. Okay, one Nebula Lord Dragon. That feels like a waste. And one Radium. Radon even. And now, hopefully from doing that, then these decks should be ready. Oh right, yeah. Um, this still requires just getting this one last card here. But uh, Counter Blast Dragon is done. He is finished. And I think that looks pretty good to me. A lot of counter blasts, but um, as long as you manage your resources, it may be okay. Get this up to the top so I know how to actually play the damn thing. Because if I don't, then I'll forget. Um, Libraria, I don't play Libraria as much anymore. Nor Avenger, nor Oracles. Or let's go here. Tetra Force. That should be pretty good. So we'll put you out here. Reverse ethics will show up here. In fairness, I'll put Avenger back up here as well. And reverse Dayusha. Which should be done soon. That'll be fun, you can sit there. Okay, that looks good so far. Hmm. I think some of these need to be deleted. Like for example this one. Yeah, that's a very old deck. And Soul Saviour. 
Yeah. Curse Soul Savior. He was good in his time. Four crit, four draw, one stand, four heal. Like, what was I doing back then? <laughs> Get that. Yeah, things like Enigma and Storm and things. And Dimensional Robo probably just gets entirely replaced. Yeah. Because, um, Reverse Dyush is nicer. But yes, this has turned into an hour and a half long episode, so I do hope that you all enjoyed. And if you manage to stick around until the very end, then congratulations, you are a true fan of the Grand Cat Show. And if you got this far, please leave a, a please leave a like, share, and subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed, if you haven't subscribed and you've watched an hour and a half in, what are you doing? Please subscribe. But um, yes, that's going to be it for this video, and we shall see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.